but this has a very strong presence in the Qantas Link fleet. It's the Qantas Link Boeing 717. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Review, where today we will be taking a closer look at the Qantas Link Boeing 717 from Herper Wings in the 1 to 500 scale. Since this is a 2019 release, we have a cutout of the model inside, and we also have the Qantas Link and Herper Wings branding. Moving on to the back of the box, we have a photo of the Qantas Link plane and we also have some more Qantas and Boeing branding. For your information, in case you did not know, the Boeing 717 used to be the DC-9. Now here she is, the Qantas Link Boeing 717 in the 1 to 500 scale in the current delivery. But before we take a closer look at this model, let's take a look at what this model is doing for Qantas Link. Just let me know this video that's currently on screen now is not shot by me. It is shot by a fellow Brisbane spotter who has a YouTube account called Finish Plane Spotter 350. And his link will be in the description down below so you can take a look at his videos. This aircraft with the registration code Victor Hotel November XO Golf was delivered firstly to Impulse Airlines, which is a subsidy of Qantas, in April 2000. It has then moved around to a variety of different Qantas branches, where it ended up on November 2005 in Qantas Link, where it has stayed ever since. Currently, this aircraft is flying out of Perth to the regional destinations in WA, like Learmont, Caratha and Kalgoorlie. But without further ado, let's take a closer look at this model. On the back of the box, we have the Qantas Roo on the tail fin. Moving up the plane, we have the engines which are at the very back of the plane. Not like on the 737 or the larger aircraft where it is on the wings. Moving up the back of the plane, we have the rear cargo doors. We also have the registration code and the country of origin which is Australia. Moving up the plane, we have the emergency exit doors. Then at the front of the plane, we have the Qantas Link branding, and we also have the front doors, and we also have the cockpit windows, which are printed on very nicely indeed. Moving on to the engines, Herper have decided to leave the engines white at the front, with a slightly grey shade at the back of the engines. Overall, I reckon the engines are pretty good, and if you look inside the engines, you can see the engine fan blades. Moving on to the wings, and I have to say, Herper could have done a better job carving out the flap slaps and spoilers onto this plane. But to make up for it, we have the emergency exit route showing where to go. And if you look on the bottom of the plane, we have the full registration code of the aircraft. Moving on to the wheels, starting off with the back landing gear. The wheels don't really come that far down from the plane, but that's the same in real life. So for that, we don't really have much detail on the back landing gears. Same with the front landing gears, there isn't very much detail for them, but it is all right. Now let's go to the summary. Like always, we are judging the models of four key elements that I reckon make up a good model. The first being the box. I really like the 2019 editions of the Herpa box, although I reckon there could have been a little bit more detail about the plane itself on the back of the box. I also like the font that they have used.
So that's why I give the box a 3 out of 5. Moving on to the realism, and I don't see any known issues regarding to the realism of the model. Everything looks exactly the same like in a real picture. So that's why I have to give it a 5 out of 5. Moving on to the detail of the model, and this is where I reckon her falls a little bit short with the detail. There isn't very much detail on the wings, because you can't really see the flap slaps and spoilers. And same with the landing gears, especially the back landing gears. So that's why I give the detail for this model a 3 out of 5. Moving on to the last detail, which is the mould, and I believe Herpa's mould that they have used for the Qantas Link Boeing 717 is very good, and there's no real known defects with the model, so that's why I have to give it a 5 out of 5, which gives it a total score of 16 out of 20. And to answer my question, is it worth, I believe, if you are collecting, especially for the Oceanic region, Qantas Link have a heap of Boeing 717s in their fleet, so this is a must have in your collection. But without further ado, we have come to the end of the video. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. And if you're new around here, I'd really be appreciated if you subscribe as well. And just a quick update for my model airport, I've finished the final design and will be painting it in the next week or so. So hopefully I can get it finished by about July. But without further ado, that's HB Aviation signing out for now.